The only thing that I like more than Jersey Shore and fist pumping and partying and drinking champagne and Moscato and limos while driving down the strip with my beautiful lady. She's not listening. I'm trying to hype her up. We went to a party. It was a great, it was a great fun time. Is five big YouTube scandals by Top Trending. Yes, this one video is my part of my favorite things that I like. This specific video title. Totally not exaggerating that at all. But I do like drama. Especially when it has nothing to do with me because it most of the time has nothing to do with me. So hey, let's I just realized you called me beautiful. I did. Did did I did I miss my my opportunity? Your opportunity is over. Am, am I late? You were late. You might not be seeing Skitten as much anymore because uh, she has strep throat again. How in the hell do you do that? As many times as she's done it, I'm not exactly Hi. sure. But we're going to find out what the hell the problem is. Get down to the skinny of it. The damn doctors aren't telling us anything. They're useless. Pieces of shit. What do we pay you for? Stop it. Not even the one with strep I am not. And so with that, I thank you guys for keeping me healthy. Because I'm sure it's Chavez Slovakia that's doing it for me. So let's get into this video. This looks pretty interesting. Christian vloggers Sam and Nia Raider catapulted into YouTube stardom with their unique pregnancy announcement video. Sam filmed himself filling a dropper full of his wife's urine from inside of their unflushed toilet to use for the pregnancy test. When the test proved to be positive, he paraded around the house with excitement and anticipation before revealing the news to his wife, Nia. The video currently sits at about 16 million views. What? Then a couple of days later, they made another video stating that they had in fact miscarried the baby oh, on no. August 9th. They tweeted, Our tiny baby brought 10 million views to her video and 100,000 new people into our lives. She turned our life around and brought us closer together. Many people speculated that the whole thing was a publicity Yo, stunt to garner views and... Sucks. Anyone here from Shane's podcast? Subscribers. Okay. Uh, he is like, be sad. Very sad. Come on, be sad. She's like, come on, tears. Come out, please. I'm so sad. Please. Here, help me be for their sad. channel, critics quit. At least she half asked for acting, but he didn't even try. The validity. You know what's sad about this video? How fake it is. Damn. Gave Nia's miscarriage, which came just days after Mark Zuckerberg and Priscilla Chan spoke out about their miscarriages, well, that making is it awful a full timing, isn't it? Headline issue. Sam responded to these allegations by admitting that the pregnancy reveal was indeed staged by God. The Wait, staged by God? Then when Sam posted a video about quitting his job to pursue a full-time YouTube career, people began to question the couple's sincerity. When criticisms from other family vloggers hit social media, Sam went on the offensive. On August 22nd, Sam was thrown out of a vlogger fair in Seattle, Washington for threatening violence at two other attendees. If all this wasn't bad enough, more scandals befell There's the family. More. In July 2015, the infidelity website Ashley Madison suffered a serious data no. breach. Sam's name, address, and user information no. was found on the site, showing that he had paid over $400 as a member in September 2013, the same month his second child was born. No. The couple made another video discussing the incident, claiming that Sam was forgiven of his sinful curiosity. Sinful curiosity? What are you talking about? Day. Staged by God? Sinful curiosity. These are the makings of a scandal. The couple are expecting. I say it like that because I have no idea who these people are. <laughs> I have no idea who this couple a new is. baby, but the shame from the scandals have tarnished the integrity of their channel. Day. Carter Reynolds has a huge presence on Twitter, oh, yeah, YouTube, and most prominently Vine. People from around the world have tuned in to loop his videos millions of times a day. I've seen it like once. For a 19-year-old, he was on top of the yeah. world. But then, after a scandal erupted, it all came crashing down. Carter and his ex-girlfriend, Maggie Lindman, yeah. were blossoming social media stars who were thrust into the national spotlight in June 2015, when a video surfaced on Tumblr. It shows Carter trying to force the then 16-year-old Maggie to perform oral sex on him. She looked intoxicated at the time, and was playing along as if it were all a joke. Then Carter pulled his pants down and she looked surprised. 
Carter was heard saying, do it, and come on, over and over again, as she bashfully protested before hiding her face underneath the covers. The clip was leaked online, following a hacking attempt on Carter's iCloud account. Days after the leak, he went to Twitter to post an apology, claiming that he never meant for the private video to go public. He also stated that they were dating at the time, and it's not like she was a random girl or fan. Couples do stuff like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't skidding. <laughs> so the situation is, just real quick, the situation is, dude was with his girlfriend in the room and he was shooting a video and he was trying to get, he was trying, he was trying to convince her to give him a blowjob. So he pulled his pants down her chin and do it, do it, do it over and over again on camera. So she chopped it off? So he says, we were dating at the time. It's not like she was a random girl or fan. Couples do stuff like that all the time. So she didn't chop it she off. She didn't chop it off. She should've. <laughs> she just started snipping. That had no more problems. You can't force a chick to, sh to shoot a sex video with you. More or less an underage woman. He was 19. How old was she? 16. Ew. Exactly. Why are we even talking about this? This should be illegal to even talk about. <laughs> you can't shoot sex videos with 16 year olds. You grown creeper. Couples do stuff like that all the time. I've never chanted do it, do it, do it to get a blowjob before. That's not on my uh, resume of things. Trust me, if she wants to give you a blowjob, you don't need to chant do it. That's not, that's not how those work. In private DM messages to a random Twitter user, he states that his girlfriend was obligated to suck his cock if he wanted her to. Soon after these incidents, he tried to attend VidCon, a convention for people to meet their favorite internet personalities. Many people started booing yeah. him. There were shouts of rapist and fans flipping him off. Things escalated to the point where VidCon staff escorted him out of the building. Once at the pinnacle of fame, it appears Carter's lucrative Vine career is, is now over. Companies that once paid Reynolds big bucks to promote their products are dropping their contracts left and right. Not to mention the millions of fans that seem to be turning their back on one of their former idols. Self-proclaimed comedian Nicole Arbor lit the internet ablaze, fueling hate and disgust from all sides with her controversial video entitled Dear, Dear Fat, Fat People. People. By the video's title alone, one can probably assume that it wasn't pretty. <laughs> After an initial backlash from famous YouTubers including Boogie2988, Nicole soon became the disgrace of the web. Many believe that her Why video was made out of hate. Boogie? Some people called it the definition of fat shaming. Due to the video being inundated with flags from the community, YouTube took her channel down. <laughs> yeah. People thought she may have taken it down herself out of regret, nah. but after a more thorough investigation, YouTube, YouTube down reinstated down. her channel and yeah. apologized for the inconvenience. The video was spread around social media and then made its way on blew her channel up to all the major news outlets. Everyone from Good Morning America to CNN to People Magazine covered the story, weighing in on the controversy. Nicole was getting so much media coverage that she was invited on The View to give her side of the story. She she argued that it was all just a joke and a satire, but the ladies didn't buy it. Nah, While all this is going on, accusations satire. of abuse- That is not the definition of satire, because it's what you actually think. It's not... whatever started to arise against Nicole. Whatever. About a month prior to all the controversy, she was dating famous YouTuber Matthew Santoro. Yeah. A close friend of Santoro, Rob Dyke, yeah. went on to Keemstar's drama alert to reveal that Nicole mentally and physically abused the Matthew homie, during bro. their relationship. Fuck According to an account homie. told to Rob, Matthew was slapped in the face by an enraged Nicole before she threatened to commit suicide. Yeah. She uploaded a tear-filled video where she pleaded to get back with Matthew, claiming that the breakup was a mistake. Yeah. Someone grabbed the video before she got a chance to delete. Now on Nicole's channel, she tries to cover other topics, like Dear Black People and I Am Jesus. Well, hey, thanks for that. You're totally not just doing it for the views, right? But hasn't garnered nearly as much attention. Her channel is like a young man though, named Shaggy, sure. aka G Unit 123. I remember was this dude. This is a Call of Duty player, right? prominent gaming YouTuber back in the day. In was 2009 and 2010, he was an up-and-coming Call of yeah, Duty player man. that had Yo, impressed this was actually really big in the Call of Duty com community, videos bro. videos showcasing his talent on the battlefield. At only 14 years old, his talent was brought to the forefront when he was uploaded to the prestigious Machinima channel. Yep. In one of his videos, he killed so many enemies in a short amount of time that he attained what's called the world's fastest nuke. Getting a tactical nuke in itself is a crowning achievement to get in the video game 
game Modern Warfare yeah. 2, but to then reach that goal in an unheard of amount of time is just unbelievable. Unfortunately, he would soon bring shame and disgrace to the gaming community, because his world record was indeed fake. Yeah. After frame by frame scrutiny from people in the gaming community, they all started to realize that the people in the lobby were in on the trick. They were waiting in certain spots on the game's map where it would be easy to be targeted and killed. In one example from the beginning of the match, Shaggy throws a Semtex grenade at a group of people standing around for about five seconds. The kill streaks would allow Shaggy to gain access to an attack helicopter, further increasing the amount of kills he could get. After weeks of criticism from fellow gaming professionals, he agreed to do an interview with Hutch at Machinima, where he finally admitted the video was, was a fake. fake. This was a huge deal among the Call he of Duty community, including professionals, because a kid with a fake video was given a spot on YouTube's number one gaming community spotlight. After his video was exposed for being fake, his gaming career had completely withered out. Today, the 20-year-old still makes videos, mostly of Grand Theft Auto V, but one can't help but imagine the potential this young man squandered away on a huge no-no in the gaming community, faking kills for views. Sam Pepper is a YouTube yeah, star Sam who Pepper, came to man. fame after appearing Oops. in the 11th season of reality show Big Brother. He's known for his prank videos where he kisses complete strangers, or climbs into bed with his girlfriend wearing an old man facial prosthetic. Pepper has been accused of misogyny and even sexual harassment in his videos. The firestorm of sexual abuse accusations came after he uploaded a video entitled Fake Hand Pinch Prank. This video involved grabbing women in public with one of his hands hidden under his hoodie. Sam claimed that the video was a part of a series of social experiments to showcase the evils of sexual harassment. Very few people believed his story, and after public outcry, the video was taken down. Since then, multiple women have come forward to accuse him of sexual assault and harassment. A UK YouTuber, Dottie Martin, posted a video of her encounter with Sam when she was 16. She alleges that he touched her inappropriately and made her feel uncomfortable. Y'all need to stop messing with these kids, man. Just leave the fucking kids alone, please. And what makes it funny to me is when people like shame guys like Sam Pepper because it's like popular to shame Sam Pepper. But then another situation arises where a grown man is messing with a 16 year old girl. And then they're just like, they turn their back and be like, no, nah, but it's okay. Like, nah, bro. Leave all the fucking kids alone. Straight up. The shit is not cool, man. Nobody thinks that shit is funny. Fucking shit. Another woman posted an authentic-looking anonymous video claiming that Sam anally raped her in his apartment. To back up her claim, she posted medical records that showed that she had in fact gone to the hospital requesting a rape kit. So no charges were filed because she was too afraid to go to the police so in fear sad. of being publicly ostracized and ridiculed. Countless women scrambled to social media to claim that they had also been groped, grabbed, or sexually assaulted by Sam, some of which were only 15 at the time. Multiple screenshots can be found swimming around on the net that shows Sam soliciting nude photos from underage female fans. Sam and his legal team deny any and all accusations. In addition to rape allegations, hard evidence has also come out against Sam's prank videos for being fake. He recently posted a video entitled Killing Best Friend Prank, yeah, where he pretends to kidnap well. two other YouTubers and shoots one of them in the head with a fake gun while the other one watches. Yeah. Although at the end of the video it was revealed to be a prank, many in the community felt that he had gone too far. So much so that a petition has surfaced online demanding that Sam's channel be taken down. It's like a really long segment on Sam Pepper. Yeah, this, these people do not like Sam now, Pepper. The petition Jesus. currently has over 200,000 supporters. Sam recently went on a popular YouTube news outlet called Drama Alert, hosted by Keemstar, telling people that he will take his channel down for $1.5 million in donations through his GoFundMe page. The page has since been taken down due to inactivity. Well, there you go. That was some interesting YouTube scandals. Yeah, man, I like all of those. A good scandal has two sides of the story, and I like that. I like that you could watch these and have legitimate questions to figure out what else is going on. That was good. It's a good vid. So I will continue flarping, and uh, I want you guys to continue being fantastic. In the meantime, Chavez Slovakia, I'll see you guys around. Peace!